sorry if I seem off, my mic was all <laughs> up. It's gonna be a short one today. We're only correcting two episodes of the show. We didn't do an episode on Monday. We were out in LA for the Emmys. And then on Tuesday, I stayed in LA for an extra day to demand a recount. I regret it. It was petty and small of me. And then I think to punish me, they did it right in front of me. I, like stacked up all the ballots. So there was a real sort of visual representation. And then they said, do you, do you see how we got there? Um, oh, we, I guess yesterday is close to look, <clears throat> gave Trump a hard time because he said he won Iowa three times. And he has not won the Iowa caucus three times. But some of you pointed out he did win the general election in Iowa three times. So that maybe that was what he meant. And uh, I apologize. You know, Mr. Trump, I owe you one. And much like when you owe somebody, I'm never going to repay you. Had a joke about, uh, they found some cocaine, um, you know, floating in the Caribbean. And the punchline was people became suspicious that cocaine was in the water when all the fish were flying fish. Uh, it did better. <laughs> but it, in my defense, everyone here has seen it, so they're like. Uh, one of the fish in the photo, I was told, uh, was a largemouth bass, which is a freshwater fish that would not be in the Caribbean. But once fish hear there's cocaine in the water, they'll, <laughs> they'll make the trip. Maybe not a large mouth bass, but you know who loves cocaine? Large nostril bath. Bass. <laughs> Good news is I don't think it would have played any better. The interesting thing you can, uh, the way you can tell a large nostril bass isn't from the large nostrils. It has a really long pinky nail. <laughs> you know who else loves cocaine? Blowfish. <laughs> Is that a, I don't think that's a dad joke. You know why? Because to tell your kids, you'd have to explain cocaine. <laughs> Fish who like cocaine, I'm gonna stay on this. I should bail, because I don't feel like it's been as rich as an area as I thought. <laughs> Fish who like cocaine are easy to catch, because when they hear people are doing lines, they swim right over. <laughs> but they're, they're fishing lines. <laughs> hey, we showed what we called, we described it as a Japanese game show where contestants get hit in the testicles. Bunch of you said that's actually a clip from a comedy variety show. Those were comedians, not contestants. You know, I did a variety show for years, and I can't think of a single fellow cast member who had agreed to get hit in the nuts. Oh, Sandberg. <laughs> a door did not blow off the Alaska Airlines flight. It was a door plug. Plug isn't a good word to invoke safety or to evoke Safety, if that's the right word, you <laughs> monsters. <laughs> plug. Imagine being on a cruise and them telling you, good news, your room has a plug. <laughs> Try not to jostle it. Speaking of, I said uh, Vivek Ramaswamy blows harder than the open door on Alaska Airlines. Many pointed out the physics of such. It would not blow, it would suck. So apologies to Vivek Ramaswamy. You, suck harder than the open door on Alaska Airlines. I said the weather in Iowa was below 30. It was 30 below, but also 30 below is below 30, so you're embarrassing yourselves. <laughs> Did a joke about an Australian teen whose mom found a snake in his sock drawer. The punchline was the teen speaking, and a lot of you asked why did you not use an Australian accent? The short answer is you have all given me a crisis of confidence when it comes to my Australian accent. It was something I felt good about. I felt loose with. I like doing on air, but now it brings me no joy to do. 
and that's on you guys. And the fact that you did that to me is not all right. <laughs> hey, we uh, last week in corrections, we showed a panda chasing a peacock around Benny Hill style. We played a song, and someone wrote, "I can't believe you could afford the musical rights to Yakety Sax." We fully can't. <laughs> that was one hundred percent a sound alike. And you know how bad I feel that Benny Hill could afford that song? And I can't, the man was a lech. I like that show because Benny Hill, watching Benny Hill as a kid, it was the first time I thought, the British aren't better than us. Um, oh, I mentioned, <clears throat> No, I forgot it. <clears throat> but um, I mentioned uh, that Pure Balance Keto has been using images of Kelly Clarkson and I uh, without our consent online to sell their product. Two things. Uh, one, you should never uh, use someone's likeness uh, without their consent. Two, I'm happy to announce my new product, Keto Power Plus. It's a very similar pill. I know you've tried it, Kelly. What do you think? I love it. <laughs> That's great. You can go now. <laughs> so cool that she showed up for that. <clears throat> Showed, uh, last week, showed my birthday present from the camera crew, Lynn Swan jersey, meant a lot to me. Um, he was wearing, he wore number 88, and then a bunch of you were like, hey, I wouldn't show that, you know, 88 is like a white supremacist symbol. Hey, white supremacists, enough. <laughs> enough, the white supremacy, bad enough. Stop taking other <laughs> and making it yours too. Mac Tonight, I've been told Mac Tonight is a, online a white supremacy symbol, as if he doesn't suck enough. I can't even show my kids Peppy the Frog cartoons. <laughs> Memes and numerology. <laughs> Master race indeed. Speaking of Mac, got some nice fan art. It's very troubling to me. That hurts my feet. <laughs> I guess we're toasting Caucasians. <laughs> Someone wrote, somebody wrote, excuse me. This is a comment sent in. The running joke about this being nominated for an Emmy is thin at best. <laughs> but, it, but it's not a joke. It, it did get nominated twice. Lost both times, which felt like four times because of the recounts I demanded. <laughs> we always think there's a chance, even when they announce somebody else. I blame La La Land or Moonlight, whichever one you want to blame. But the older the person reading your category, the more you think, whoa, hold on. <laughs> Let's give it a beat. Uh, the word is pronounced facultative. Said it wrong last week. Facultative means occurring optionally in response to circumstances rather than by nature. For example, I'll use it in a sentence for you, Shu. Leaving a snoozer of a corrections comment like that is facultative. Oh, um, there's a difference between Harry Curie and Seppaku. Harry Curie is the, <clears throat> excuse me, act of disembowelment. Seppuku is the whole ritual. And part of the ritual is um, someone stands behind you and after the disembowelment, they uh, decapitate you as an act of mercy. And they say you can always tell how your friends feel about you, how quickly they volunteer to do that part. <laughs> if you're like, well, bad news, I got my Seppuku scheduled. They're like, I can be there. 
I don't know if I have any friends who would, oh, Sandberg. <laughs> Uranus, we're told the incorrect way to say it. Here's an interesting thing, and I looked it up, and I guess there's some truth to it, that Dan Rather didn't want to say Uranus on television, so he started calling it Uranus. Peter Jennings called it Uranus, and Tom Brokaw called it Uranus. Literally just texted with him. Oh, it's him. Hey, I just did uh, my Tom Brokaw. Can you do your Brian Williams for everybody? I'm Brian Williams. <laughs> It's really good. <laughs> Got a lot of suggestions on how to stop chewing my nails. I appreciate it and want to give each a fair hearing and a meaningful response. Try calcium magnesium supplements. No. When my daughter was young, she used to chew on her, so now we use Vicks Vapor Rub. No. I kicked the nail biting habit easily by getting braces on my teeth. No. Seth, you got to cut your nails and then paint them. No. I took bupropion to quit smoking and I quit biting my fingernails after 50 years. No. Here's how I'm going to stop uh, chewing my nail. Willpower. And so far it's going pretty good. Let's take a look. That's about it. See me next week. <laughs>